I now look forward to Rob Ford interviews the way children look forward to Christmas morning. It's... <laughs> Mayor Ford and his brother sat down with Matt Lauer for an interview that aired on the Today Show this morning. It's never a good sign when Matt Lauer flies to your town to interview you, and he did not let the mayor off easy. And the best excuse I heard you give for using that crack cocaine was I was a, in a drunken stupor. And I'm wondering, is that supposed to make anybody feel better? No, not at all. But show me the video, even according... What again, does the video according, matter? Uh, because I want to see it because of quarter, I can't even barely remember it. I was very, very inebriated. Dude, really? Why can't these people get that through their heads? He was very, very inebriated. He went on to say that uh, he absolutely wants to keep his job. He's fit to serve the city of Toronto. And then he ran through a wall like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> One of the many funny things about these interviews he's been doing is he, he likes to shift the focus onto his weight as if that's his main problem. And he has a very consistent way of doing that. I am training every day. I'm in a gym for two hours every day. I'm dealing with a trainer every day we're working out. If I'm sitting here across from you five months from now, what will I be looking at? You'll look at someone who's 30 pounds at least lighter. I have a weight issue. I've been training every day. Give me five or six months. And if you don't see a difference, I'll leave my words. If you don't see a difference in the next four or five months, then you know what, I have to eat my words. If you don't see a new Rob Ford a few pounds later, a couple of inches bigger on my arms and chest in about five months, then I'll eat my words. Yes. I'm gonna be working out. If I'm not down at 30, 40 pounds in the next six months, then I can eat my words. Now he will eat his words and many, many other things too. <laughs> he's, the, uh, he's the best. I'm gonna hang on to that clip for five or six months from now, and when he looks like Mayor Ryan Gosling, and we'll see how he did. <laughs> Another thing he keeps doing in these interviews is downplaying the fact that he smoked crack. He makes crack smoking seem like jaywalking, like everyone has done it at some point in their lives. I don't know, maybe they have, maybe it's me who's out of it. So we sent a camera crew out on the Hollywood Boulevard today to ask people on the street, have you ever smoked crack? And let's find out if they have. Have you ever smoked crack? No. Have you ever smoked crack? No. Have you ever smoked crack? Uh, no. Have you ever smoked crack? I'm sorry? Have you ever smoked crack? No, I have not. Have you ever smoked crack? No. No? Have you ever smoked crack? No. Did you ever smoke crack? Crack? No. Did you ever smoke crack? No, I don't. Didn't. Never. Did you ever smoke crack? No. Did you ever smoke crack? No, I smoke a lot of weed, though. Did you ever smoke crack? No. Did you ever smoke crack? No. Have you ever smoked crack? Crack? No. Have you ever smoked crack? Never. <laughs> no. 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 Hell no. Hell no. No. Never. <laughs> no! Have you ever smoked crack? A long time ago. How was it? At the time, good. Now, not so good. That's it. It's the Grinch who smoked Christmas right there, isn't it? <laughs>